So Mawlana Shaitan Rahmatullah alayhi, he mentions a story regarding one of his teachers. So somebody asked his teachers, is there a way I can control jinn? Yeah, I can control, people have this, feel like talking about jinnat and everything. So, Is there a way, is there, is there some wazifa, if I read certain surah, if I read certain things and it overpower, I can read it and make a jinn under, control the jinn. So his teacher, he's not sure, Mufti Shafiq Rahmatullah doesn't remember which teacher he mentioned. He said, listen, the sunnah, listen one thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent you in this world to be a slave, an abd. Your purpose of the, your existence, the purpose of this, the Allah sent you in the world to become a slave. Not to become a khuda and a lord and a god, to control other people. So even if there is or there isn't, that shouldn't be your objective when you go, I want to read this wazifa, read surah jinn this many times, and read this surah and that surah, so I get jinn under my control. So you're not, who has things under control? A master, an aqa, a god, a lord. So you haven't been sent to become a god and a lord. You have been sent in this world. What's the, what's the most honorable title Allah has mentioned to the Prophet ﷺ? When, when Abd, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Isra, he says, Subhanallah the Asra, be Abd, he didn't say Nabi. And then in the Quran, Alhamdulillah, he led the Anzala Allah, Abdihil Furqana, Allah Abdihil, Kitab, Alam Yajalu Iwaja. So Abd, so this Abdiya, so we have been sent in this world to become slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not try to become what? People who are, uh, who exalt, exalt control over others.